I remember the first time I watched someone play Far Cry 5. I couldn't play it myself, but the story was so captivating and the acting and cinematics were so beautiful that I fell in love with it anyway. When Far Cry 6 was first announced, I was crossing my fingers hoping that I'd be able to play this Far Cry game as my first Far Cry game and I was happily provided with a early access code from Ubisoft for PS5. So, to live up to my accessibility expectations and is it my game of the year? Let's talk about it. First off, special thanks to the fam at Ubisoft for providing me with this code. As always, I'm starting with my first impressions for the able-bodied people in the audience. Far Cry 6 is a gorgeous game with a ton to do. You truly get that feel of being a revolutionary mixed in with that Far Cry fun that if you're a fan of the series, we all know and love. And at the same time, it doesn't take away from the more important politically charged moments in the story. That being said, Far Cry 6 being a Far Cry game does touch on dictatorship and everything that comes with it in gory detail in all its forms so slight content warning on that front if you're looking for a fun game with a look into the darker side of humanity this is the game for you and all in all as someone who doesn't mind diving into the depths with her games it's certainly something that i love about far cry 6. so with that Let's get into the accessibility because there is a lot to talk about. As always, I'm going to start with motor settings since motor and cognitive are what I struggle with personally. There are two difficulty modes for Far Cry 6, story mode and action mode. Story mode is your relatively easy mode. Do not be afraid to run up on your enemies and story mode is very hard to die there. Um, if I can get through it, anyone can get through it. This is my first first person shooter that I've ever played and when I say that story mode made getting hit by bullets a lot less frightening I mean that it was a lifesaver there are so many different ways to customize your button layout in Far Cry 6 from one-handed layouts to getting rid of QTEs you can even go as far as to customize each button for different functions in game right down to whether you want to press or hold it my two personal favorites are the ability to put move and look on the same joystick so you aren't splitting the two between the right or the left joystick. It helps tremendously when you're trying to chase NPCs. And the ability to swap move and look while aiming. So for me, when I aim, I'm able to do so with the left joystick instead of the right, which is so helpful considering I have motor delays in my right hand. They also have a setting that makes sprinting automatic to the incline of your joystick instead of pressing L3, along with a toggle for a no presses mode that moves all the button presses away from the joysticks. So you no longer have to press those annoying joystick buttons, which I love. You can also adjust your joystick sensitivity so that you don't have any strain on your muscles while pushing your joystick to run or do anything else, which is very nice. There is, of course, auto aim and target lock as well. You can also adjust your target lock duration so that the game will hold it on a target as long as you like up to 10 seconds, which is very nice. And great for people who have low vision to be able to really see their targets and stay on them for a really long time or people with shaky hands and for my fam with no motor function period um far cry 6 
on PC has eye tracking capabilities so you will be able to navigate the game with your eyes and head completely. I have the article that Ubisoft posted about accessibility down in the description below if y'all want more information on that. On the navigation side, the fun stuff, the cars, the helicopters, there is auto drive for cars and horses to get you where you need to go. The only gripe that I have is that there isn't auto drive for helicopters or planes. And if there is, I will make a correction below this video, but I'm 20 hours in and I have yet to find it. Please make auto drive for your planes. <laughs> I crashed a plane like six times trying to get through a boss mission. It, it, it was a lot. Like eventually the game just put me where I needed to be at so I could just drive the plane in the hangar, but it was a lot. It was so much. Anyway, Oh, <laughs> anything that you can't do in Far Cry in terms of time, I will say that um, the there are some interception supply drops that are timed when you first get them. But I do believe that um, the timer stops and goes away and you're able to just pick it up afterwards, which is very nice and accessible. Like every little mini mission, whether it be taking over a military base or getting a supply drop or doing an interception, I've been able to do in Far Cry 6 in many, many different ways. I took down a whole entire military base with uh, my Amiga Champagne the Panther. Don't ask me how I did it. It just happened, it was spur of the moment. As far as vision goes, you have so many customization options for your hood. There are outlines for the enemies and loot in different colors. There's colorblind options, the famous sound captions and subtitles with various sizes and colors. I am obsessed with color. I don't need that much for vision, but like when I saw all the colors and stuff, you you know I had to customize my HUD. You're lying if you don't say, if you're able-bodied in terms of sight, you don't like the customization HUD feature. It's nice. You can make the HUD larger. You can keep it small if you want to. There's field of view scaling and UI scaling as well to help you see better. There's also voice to text narration for the HUD and lots of visual and sound cues. So, you, so you'll be able to see and uh, hear if you need to those moments when an enemy might see you or when you're trespassing and they're all very bright and colorful. As far as audio goes in the game, of course, you have your audio cues to help you out. You can customize the volume of all individual sounds to your liking. Presets for motor, cognitive, vision, hearing. When you first start the game off, that pop up for you to choose from and that you can edit later in the game after you get um, to the first sequence, which is very nice. Overall, I feel like Far Cry is such a fun game and genuinely such a good experience for me as someone who can't play first person shooters on the market for this to be the first one that I can play without getting frustrated, without having any issues except for like flight on helicopters and etc. Um, <laughs> It's been a very fun experience and I can't wait to experience more Far Cry with you. Um, I'm only 20 hours in. I did the first boss fight for my review. That's kind of my threshold for like, okay, if I can beat the first boss, we're good. So if you want to um, see me continue the game and see whatever issues arise, we're always gonna be live and on VODs here on YouTube and on Twitch every single Monday, Wednesday, Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern. I plan on playing Far Cry uh, today. You guys should be seeing this review before then. 
but yeah um thanks for checking out the review i would highly recommend far cry to people who have low vision people who don't have that much motor skill it, it might take some time it always takes people different amounts of time to do things but it is playable 100 percent, especially story mode so hard to die i will tell you right now so hard to die in story mode if i can do it anyone can do it <laughs> now on the ends of the spectrum at the very end of the spectrum if you are completely blind can you play this game no while there is hud narration and menu narration uh there is no environment navigation of any sort to kind of tell a person if you are completely blind audio wise where you are going and where you need to go I watched a friend, Super Blind Man, I will link their Twitch review stream down below from today, play the first beginning of the game and he could not get through the first opening scene at all. So on that front, sadly, it is not playable for the completely blind. Is it playable for the death? Absolutely. Y'all have lots of visual cues and you have the, um, sound subtitles and subtitles for you guys to see and to know what's going on along with the gorgeous haptic feedback if you're playing on console all in all far cry i think is a beautiful and accessible game to have fun with if you're looking for a good story a crazy fun time some good chicken smash bro fights maybe a little bit of dominoes maybe go set some like tobacco on fire while fighting gus from breaking bad this is this is the game for you this is the game for you and it's super fun and truly and definitely so far my game of the year <laughs> truly and so far my game of the year so thank you guys for watching this review there will definitely be more coming stay tuned for more far card coverage here on the youtube and on the twitch channel links down below and don't forget you deserve accessibility that is completely on the level and at your level and you deserve to be accommodated all right peace out